Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Fallout New Vegas playthrough. It's episode number 61, I believe. Let me double check that. 61. And uh, we're here in Vault 11. We have another vault, which makes me so happy. Um, yeah, all kinds of loot in here. We're looking for stuff that we can use to fix an air filtration system for the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, but we're also just kind of looking to see what the story of this quote unquote most dramatic or most democratic dramatic also most uh, dramatic most democratic vault is I'm super curious to see um so far the story is very intriguing and uh, I'm really into into what's been happening here so a little bit of whiskey some pulse mines sure nothing over there some ammo there got a loot loot scoot and boogie Loot, scoot, and boogie. Okay. The big problem, of course, is going to be that uh, I need to remember where I have been. Odds of that happening, I would say, are real low. Odds of that successfully happening, I should say. Oh, God. No? Nothing? Okay. Let me check something. I thought right through there. There's no other doors. All right, let's do it. Come at me, bro. Cold-blooded. You see that kill? Oh! It was booby-trapped. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, God. Nothing there. Okay, we're fine. Um... First off, disarm the rigged shotgun. Much better. Are there any other any other rigged shit around here, please? Please tell me. There is. What's up, Boone? She up to. Okay. Overseer's terminal is gonna require a key. We're learning something too about the shape of how these uh, these vaults tend to work. Um, don't have a key, cool. That's that's great. That's fine. We will eventually. I have faith. Um. Yeah, there's like a, a general shape to them. The fuck was that noise? Scrap metal. What? Oh yikes. Creep me out, man. I think what I'm gonna do here is take all of the uh, the fission batteries and give them to uh, Didi. Didi, come here. Didi, you shall take all of my miscellaneous fission batteries that are worth many monies. Take all of them. That gives me a whole shit ton of space. All right. Nothing really there. Cool. Uh, we didn't do this. Easy. Easiest kill of my life. Fight me, bitches. Okay. We have to go back up. And then, uh, and then backwards. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so gonna get lost here. Son of a gun. You're mine. That's a special door. That's a reactor. Didi, what are you doing opening the reactor door? You trying to get us killed? Didi, what are you doing? Hey okay, guys, have fun. See ya. Inductor, filing cabinet. Doctor, nothing. Okay. All burned books. Pilot light. Gotta still be here. What do you mean by that? Like enemies? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Sexy sleepwear, baby. Hey, hey, sexy sleepwear. That's great, actually, because now I can combine it with my other sexy sleepwear to make some ultra sexy sleepwear. <laughs> ultra sexy. All right, let's do it. You guys opened it. Not my fault. If I get irradiated. 
Go! They're actually kind of kind of bad. They're actually strong. It takes a couple shots. Okay, nothing here. That's money. Money, money, money. Must be funny. In a rich man's world. Nothing okay. yet. Nothing yet, huh? Can I activate the loudspeaker? But what's on it? Oh, there's water down there. Oh, not the radiation. All right, here's the deal. Radiation suit on. And now we're now we're, no! I didn't mean to drink it. Ah! I meant to loot. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this shit quick. Quick as can be. So what are they doing down here? Uh oh, this is the lock to the reactor. 100% I'm getting irradiated here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we should save here just so that we have it. What are you? What are you? Can I kill you? How bad is the radiation here? Um, Let's do a rad X because I can't, I don't have that many rad aways. So I have to be, I have to be preemptive Rather than anything else. Okay. You fighting? BD's just going for it. Oh god, don't make me go down there. DD's Dee just going ham? DD, why are you so you're so aggressive? Be aggressive, B E aggressive. You're so aggressive. Prepared speech of Gus Olson, Ombudsman, for the annual overseer election. Can't wait to hear it. Terminal. Wait a second. What? According to the text of a speech that was given, the overseer, the terminal password is Betty. Did they just give the password to whoever? Good afternoon. Each year it is the appointed task of the Ombudsman not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office and the vault has become still that one day some excavator from humanity <clears throat> or perhaps some, some yet unknown race of super beings might find our records and incorporate them into historical canon. Lately, it's occurred to me that that's not really why. I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this, or perhaps there will be one when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told. To understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. Now I understand. It's the most democratic, a.k.a. They did an experiment in this vault where we must... You must perform a sac... You must perform a yearly sacrifice or else you all get killed. Wow. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now. There was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands, kissing babies. But now with the rise of the voting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else, we want to know why. Well, I've been through the archives and I can tell you. You won't find the answer there. You'll find an account of the first overseer who entered the vault as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place, but he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizen's anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would want to choose a sacrifice democratically. In the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds and that his name would be at the top of the polls and that the simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Vault 11. But he did not. He had the answers no more than any of us, and the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name, and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice, he walked down into that room crying like a child. This is some Lord of the Flies 
fucking shit right here. I love it. I can only wonder if there are no answers to be found, and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to hope that we can find one. I urge you all to take the journey I took. To remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity, and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. God damn, this is interesting. Okay. Vault 11 might be my favorite place in the in the game so far. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, we're we're going to actually do a save here. We're going to we're going to actually do a save here. Because right here we have very little radiation and the password. So, getting out of here from this point might be semi doable. What's up here? By the way, we're just running blindly around corners again. Remember how we were how we were doing that? Second floor of the atrium. Okay. Atrium terminal. Prepared speech. All right, cool. This is the uh, this is the message we just read, which is great. Um, nothing in there. Okay. I hate. Ca oh my god! I didn't look at these. Uh, I hate Nate. Now says I hate Kate. Don't vote Clover. His family needs him. Glover. His family needs him. Clover has done nothing wrong. Vote for Stone. Incredible. It's incredible. Nothing up here. All right, cool. It's just a second place for you to find the speech if you'd miss the first place is my guess. Okay, so this floor. The atrium is all closed off. All that shit's closed off. We don't need it. Down here, we came out of this. We went that way. What's this way? Cafeteria. There's these bunker. There's these like sand, like the sandbag bunkers, which I'm very interested in because I think that means that like event. I'm when things turn to violence. I'm interested in hearing what the plan was, what what the thing was, you know. Because there's bunkers everywhere with dead bodies around, you know? And, uh... So who was it against who? How did the four that we know come out of this, too? You know? The four that we've already heard the recording of. There's a tripwire there. Thank God I didn't do it. Tons of food. Uh, give me a rat X. Dang it. Alright, um... We also need to remember that I have to find the uh, the pieces of equipment here as well. We haven't done so far, but that should honestly show up on my uh, on my radar. So we'll see about that. A toaster. Oh, good. I love toasters. All right, cool. Um, that's the cafeteria done, which means that this floor is done. Okay. I believe. So we don't, we no longer need to come up to the one that, that goes out of here. Which means we should save right here. I'm going to have to be smarter about my saves after what Vault 34 taught me. This, this vault does not seem nearly as difficult as that vault. To be clear, but. Some air. Go back down, nothing that way. Get the heck out of here before you die. Uh, wrong button. That one. Oh, I keep drinking the thing. No, no, no. I grabbed, I grabbed the uh, purified water. Okay. So what's the resistance like right now? It's the same. Okay, so we should use another one of these. We're getting smarter. We are getting there. All right, now hope hope this works. Air. Oh my god. Uh uh. There's a light, right? I can't see shit though. Oh my god, I'm actually creeped out right now. I'm actually creeped out right now. Oh my god. I uh, am am like panicky. This is uh, not good. Um, I hate this a lot, actually. Okay, this is uh, not good for like my brain. I hate that. I feel like I'm drowning. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, you can't see anything up here? YouTube comments always like, turn on the light from your, from your pit boy. Oh yeah, that helps so much. Thank you so much. I'm sure there are other situations in which it helps, but uh, right now, I'm fucking stuck. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, go this way. Open this. Okay, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. We loot so quickly. You've never seen a faster looter. You've never seen a faster looter. Oh, wow. I'm gonna drown and I hate it so much. Ugh. I wonder if anybody else has had the same feeling here. Like this place, you know? Like, okay, nothing there. Um, does this place give anybody else the willies? The major willies? Oh, that's just that, okay, shit. Um. I fucking hate this, dude. Okay, um. Gotta go, go, go. This is a new place, right? This is a new place. No? This is a different way through the same thing. Okay. Yes? That goes down to where we just came from. Okay. God, I hate this shit. Alright, so if that is the case, then we should double check everything over here. Maybe I'll just keep the light on. From the pit boy. It's not bad, actually. Okay. I think that's everything down there. Let's just double check the local map real quick. And take a deep breath and be thankful that I'm no longer down there. Alright, so now we still need to go left. Um, if we can. Eat this. What's this? What's this thing? What is this shit? Oh! What is this? Oh, uh, there's an there's a tripwire on it. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> okay. Well. Definitely some stuff making some noise over there. Love it a lot. Extra ammo. Great. This game, uh, sometimes I get really, like, flustered in this game, in, in, uh, New Vegas, and it's taken me a little bit of, uh, of time to r realize why, which is that, uh, the game actually creeps me out and freaks me out more strongly than a lot of other games I've ever played, and when that happens, I get really flustered and, and or potentially, like, uh, panicky, angry, like, uh, like you maybe just saw. Oh, what the fuck is up there? Nothing worthwhile, hopefully. Okay, so this is the hallway. I think we've technically already been up this way. Is that what that's telling me? I mean, that shit's dead, so... Yes, this is the hallway we were gonna go down. Okay, okay. So, now we should go this way. Because we haven't been this way. That's the same room. Yas? That's the same room. Okay, good. Now this way. Shit. Oh, I can breathe. That's very good. That makes me very, very happy. I'm also taking radiation poisoning now. We should probably use it if we got it, right? This is a situation where we use it if we got it. That's the thing. That's the thing we needed. Give me a freaking, give me a freaking. It's being, it's being laggy. It's being laggy. Don't kill me. It's being laggy. Don't, don't drink the water. 
God damn it. Speaking of being flustered. Didi, you're in my way. And, I, and I'm not saying that I hate you for that, but I am not happy with you. Have we been where we are right here? We have. Okay, so this is... Is this full circle right here? I don't know what this room does. A little bit of ammo. Just some loot. Okay. Okay. So, I need to now go... I'm having so much fun, by the way. I I know I seem stressed. I am stressed. <laughs> but, yes. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to keep drinking some uh, some stuff to get my health back. I should probably drink a couple Nuka-Colas, too. It's going to give me radiation, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so now here we go, right? How do I get through this thing, though? This way, then down? No? This is probably where it is. It's probably, like, underneath here. We have the password. Did we just do it? Open the sacrificial chamber. If we go down there, we're gonna die, right? Like, like what's gonna happen is it's gonna think we're the sacrifice? Hear me out, though. Maybe when you go down there, they actually let you out. Hear me out, though. Maybe that's what happens. Right? The biggest... The biggest... Switch of all would be if you go down there, they let you out. There's just a coffee mug and a whole bunch of blood. Okay, it doesn't look like they let you out. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. I'm so nervous right now. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. In my radiation suit. Vault Tech presents Happy Trails. I can't zoom in. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can I'm so excited. to thrive. What's Currently, gonna happen? You may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps <laughs> you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives <laughs> for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Are they actually going to kill me or not? To reflect what do you on think? The moments that made your life worth living. The massages? Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as I'm you think I'm thinking about the good things, things in my life right now, actually. Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now. And imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. I'm not closing my eyes. I'm not Can closing them. Am I about to get shot in the head? 
Am I about to get shot in the head? Oh my god! First off, switch to this gun. I'm 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 beating these motherfuckers. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Are those both dead? We're doing it. Oh no! I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Well, that was fun. How about that? Them apples, huh? Jesus, shit. Look at all these dead bodies. That was so cool. That was so fucking cool. There's a laser pistol here, and I want it. That was just so rad. Like, that was- Oh, that's- Never mind. It's just a part of the Mr. Gutsy. Okay. That was just the coolest thing I've ever done. That would, like... That's all. Vault 11 is- I'm- I'm actually speechless right now. Vault 11 is, uh, this is the coolest shit I've ever done. Like, this is one of the best moments in any video game I've ever played. This is just nuts. That's my heart rate right now. Um, this is just cool. Just really cool. I don't know what else to say. Like, that was, that was badass. That was so unexpected and fun. And, uh, and now what do I do? I can leave, it looks like. Can I also go out the other way? The Vault 11 mainframe, by the way. So here's the deal. Can I go out this way? Fire is a key to open. Vault 11 solution? Automated response. I have them both. Okay, override lockdown. Overriding complete. Now, hold the fucking phone. What's the other one? Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice I knew it. one of I your knew own. It. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can yep. come and go at your leisure. Yep. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. It's incredible. Of course. Of course. Of course, there was never a reason to do it in the first place. It was a test. It was a test and we and and they failed the test. They desperately failed the test. 
Go towards the light, by the way. What an episode. Holy shit. What an experience. Vault 11. I think we still have some stuff to do here, potentially. I don't think I've explored everything, but man, I have had fun exploring what I've explored. Um, we're going to do some more in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching this episode of our Fallout New Vegas playthrough. If you liked any part of Vault 11, give me a like on this video, just so that it can get in front of other people who might also be interested in seeing a Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place tomorrow. Did I mention that I'll see you tomorrow? Bye-bye.